Hello YouTube. We bought some cheap wrenches to make some tools out of. We'll show you here in a second. Uh, this one was bent, so I've got a 3 8 nut, three of them taped here, and then squeezing it. Had to go a little further, let it spring back. Hang on to it so don't go flying out of there. It's a simple way to straighten a piece of metal. If you don't have a press. And let off the pressure. It's pretty straight. We'll go over and I'll show you the wrenches. Okay, we'll do this out the tripod. This won't be a long video. These were like $8.00. And you notice they cheated me out of a no 15 millimeter, 14 and 17. That'd work for a pointer. I don't have a 19 millimeter, so I will be keeping this one. Uh, to go open this up, there's like a little piece of plastic goes either way in the slot. Broke it getting it open. Just bust it. I stuck a screw over it. You get what you pay for. I'm not complaining. But, uh, the bigger ones are always better quality than the little ones. Here's the problem making this tool. See how that just faintly has that ridge to it? I had to grind that. Then I took various like sanding drums and drum uh, emery stone. It's just a tool. I, I, excuse me. I may take and take some of that chrome shiny look off. Just use my abrasive wheel. I have all kinds of congestion. Yeah, we're going to save that one. You get down on the little wrenches. They're not that good of quality. Always is with cheap wrenches. The little ones are always made more crude. What do we got in here? Let's grab another one. We're fumbling here. Let's go up to a 12 millimeter. And boy, some of these have scratches. I'm blowing it out in the light. Some of these have some scratches on them. Let me pause and find one that's really bad shape. Okay, let's look at the biggest one. I mean, you get what you pay for. No, I'm not going to make any more tools like this out of these wrenches. That's too much work. This side just sanding drum. You can see the lines. And then this side is started to polish it. But when you angle this stuff, it looks different. But uh, this looks the best. I tried blending it. There you go. We'll bring you back when this is done. This will be a short video. Do not ask what I'm chrome and vandiums to whatever CRV, but I don't know what the CO means. Yeah, I'll make something different besides making these ends. That's too much work for these cheap wrenches. So we'll be back. Just hang in there. We'll show you when we're done with this tool today. Okay, we're done making one out of a cheap wrench. And I would rather use an old, made in the USA, hard steel wrench than what I work with because this metal is not easy to work with. I not want to discriminate, but it's just not the same type of steel. And I took my red one, it's almost gone. Reddish brown. Because I don't want it real shiny, so I kind of knocked it down a little bit. And that's all I used on here. Now, if you notice, I took a lot off this to make this flat because these wrenches have a curb to them. You know, they're, you know what I mean. But what I like is, let's get it, there, you get about that angle to get under something. I, it's not hard to be a chisel, it's a scraper. Uh, if you go this direction now, you're going to have to be, see, you, you don't get much. Play that better than what I did in other videos. See? But there's a small edge filed on here. And it's not knife sharp because you've got to get it completely straight. 
and this is never going to be perfect so this is how I like for gaskets might need a little more work scraping all the stuff off the table here so you have a choice you can make it any way you want you can make both sides like this if you wanted to but uh not complaining though to make a tool of a cheap wrench I mean they were cheap but I like I said I'd rather work with something like I made my other ones super heavy duty uh, there was a lot of bad marks in here I took a diamond those little diamond bits sanding drums everything because I carved a lot on here then I took my like I said emery wheel stones they look rubberized and that came out pretty good it matched I had scratches clear back to here And on one side of this, I actually took out, down here where it was 17, I took it actually all the way out, which would have been this side. See, this side's actually ground back flatter than that side. But there you go. Enough. I'll leave you some pictures. Uh, thanks for watching. We don't want some of these videos to get real long, but uh, if somebody's interested, if they've watched every one of these, they know how I'm making these now, so... The little Jimmy Bar. Pittsburgh. Nice place. See? That's what I like about it. Doesn't matter where it came from. I like that name. So. We're out of here. We had enough of this.